Welcome to sit9.com. Ah, uh, ito yung pangatlo na video natin on solving motion problems, ano? And uh, ito sa video na to ay uh, solve tayo ng rate or speed ng airplane no? from one airport to another. So let's read the problem. Uh, it took 4.5 hours for a plane to fly from Nineveh International Airport to Narita Airport. If the route of the plane is around 2,250 kilometers, what is its speed? So, no? rate or speed ang ano ng problem na to, ano? So, kung napanood niyo yung una at pangalawang videos natin, as uh, diniskas natin noon that uh, ang pwedeng hanapin sa isang uh, motion problem ay it's either distance no? or D no rate or r o kaya time no so ito yung ito yung karaniwang uh, quantities na hinahanap natin ano and from the problem meron tayong dalawang known yung 4.5 hours and then yung 2 point, uh, 2250 kilometers at meron tayong isang unknown yung ating speed so, 4.5 hours, yun yung time natin. Obvious naman siya. 4.5 hours. And then, yung ating distance, 2,250 kilometers. No? At ito yung ating unknown. No? And we know from the previous videos na ang formula for distance is equal to uh, we, we know that distance is equal to rate times time. Ano? Uh, we know that distance is the product of rate and the time. No? And pwede na natin i-substitute ito dahil meron tayong distance at meron tayong time. So distance, yung first uh, quantity natin is 2,250 kilometers. And then meron tayong equal dito. Yung rate natin, wala tayong rate. Ano, ano? So pwede natin ilagay yung R. And then yung ating time, yung T, 4.5 hours, no? 4.5 hours. So, rate times time ito, no? Kaya multiplication ito. And for us to be able to find R, dapat i-divide natin yung both sides of the equation by 4.5, no? 4.5 hours also. And then 4.5 hours, no? Okay, so pag nag-divide tayo, dapat naka-align yung ating equal sign doon sa fraction bar. No? So dapat nandito siya. Okay, so alam natin na yung 4.5 divided by 4.5 hours ay equal to 1. So mawala na to. Ang matitira na lang R, no? 1 times R is R. So ang matitira na lang sa right hand side natin ay R. At syempre sa left hand side natin, mag perform tayo ng division na ano, that is 2,250 divided by 4.5, no? And, of course, mas madali ito pag tanggalin natin yung decimal place niya, no? Or decimal, sorry, decimal point. And for us to be able to get rid of the decimal point, pwede tayo mag times 10, ano? That is, pwede tayo mag-multiply ng 10 over 10. If this value is multiplied to 10 over 10, hindi naman niyan mag-change kasi 10 over 10 is equal to 1, right? So, ibig sabihin yung magiging sagot natin pag nabago na yung value, same pa rin yung sagot natin dito sa baba. No? Okay, so, pag nag-multiply tayo ng 10 over 10, yung 4.5 natin magiging 45. So, matatanggal na to. And, of course, yung 2,250 natin, pag multiply natin ng 10, nadagdagan siya ng 0, no? So, dito muna tayo for, uh, para na natin ma-divide, we have 225 divided by 45, which is equal to 5, no? So, magiging 2,000, oh, sorry, 225, yeah? So, 5 times 5 is 25, no? Carry 2, 5 times 4 is 20, plus 2 is 22. So, 0 na yan. We bring down tayo na 0. 
and then magiging 0. May dalawa pa tayong 0 dito. Okay? So, 0, yeah. 0, 0. 0. Okay? So, 500, ano? 500, huwag kalimutan yung ating uh, unit, kilometer sa taas, at hour sa baba. Hour sa hour. So, ibig sabihin, yung rate ng airplane is 500 kilometers per hour no? from uh, uh, Naiya to Narita. No? And uh, kaya siya nakaabot ng 2,450 kilometers after 4.5 hours. So pag minutiply natin yung 500 times 4.5, lalabas ay 2,250. No? So yun ang ating uh, pinakasagot. Ang sagot natin ay 500 uh, kilometers per hour in yung ating rate na aeroplano. Okay, so maraming salamat. Uh, I hope ay uh, I hope na maliwanag itong explanation na ito. Uh, see you in the next tutorial.